These log cabins still bear the marks of axes wielded by German pioneers who settled in the forests of North Louisiana in the 1830s. They came here to create a religious utopia, a village founded on faith where everyone worked for the common good. They were almost a, uh, what we call today an end times group. They were withdrawing from society. Uh, to live among themselves, stay pure, and wait for the second coming of Christ. John Agan is the Webster Parish historian who has researched the history of Germantown. The group was an offshoot of the Harmonist Society, which originally settled in Pennsylvania and later Indiana. They were led by Bernard Mueller, a self-proclaimed prophet who called himself Count de Leon. Count Leon took his group of followers and proceeded south to a vision he'd been told, he said, to settle uh, near the latitude of Jerusalem. And so they came down the Ohio River uh, into the Mississippi, into the Red. The Germans' first stop in Louisiana was along the Red River at a place just north of Natchitoches. But an outbreak of yellow fever proved deadly for many of those settlers, including their leader, Count Leon. They moved north and built their Germantown colony near present-day Minden in 1835. Here, their experiment in communal living flourished. The widow, the Countess Leon, taught piano and held firm to the religious beliefs of her husband, while a colonist named John Bopp managed the business affairs. They produced everything here, and beyond that, they marketed uh, all food, all things they needed to have they produced. They uh, brought in mulberry trees and had silkworms and produced silk to sell. They produced peach brandy that was marketed. Uh, across the country. And then whenever it came to be hot inside your house, you would twist these dowels and open up the boards and lift them up. And that would create extra breezeways for your house. Amanda Steiner is a tour guide at Germantown with a direct link to these early settlers. I'm an eighth generation descendant. I came along from the Krauss family. Several of these log cabins are original. The living quarters, a communal kitchen and dining room, the Countess's piano, along with original furnishings and artifacts. Pieces of the utopian colony survived, but its story was almost lost. No, I didn't really know about it. All I knew is that the buildings were here and that we were kind of related to the original settlers. The colony disbanded shortly after the Civil War, which created a rift among the settlers, compounded by the hardships of the post-war South. The world intervened, yeah, the, the outside influences came. Uh, so that, that uh, kind of destroyed utopia for them, I guess. I think it's important to learn from our history and that we can compromise, we can get along with other people, we can, you know, kind of settle our differences and kind of live together happily and, and this is a great example of a way to do that. For about 25 years, it did work here at Germantown, a community of faith that enjoyed economic success as they supported each other and the community that faded with time is now being rediscovered. With the heart of Louisiana, Dave McNamara, Fox 8 News.